Hi guys, very welcome to Mentor and yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic out there. Today on the podcast, guys, we're going to be looking at the pilot chair. What kind of settings do we have? How does it feel to sit in it for 12 hours a day? And uh, what do you need to think about when you set it up? So stay tuned, you're going to love this one. Right guys, so if you look at the pilot chair, it's uh, very important that you have your settings correct. All right, and the reason for that is that you're spending so much time in it. So if you are sitting in a chair which is not properly set up and you're sitting in it for 10 hours a day during a whole career, you might actually get some severe back problems. So as you can see, it's nicely made out of wool. It's a material that breathes very well, so you don't really get that sweaty kind of feeling that you might get if you have leather seats and you're sitting on them for long. So basically, it's a quite comfy chair. Obviously, you have your neck rest. The neck rest, you need to push from one side, and then you can set it to whatever setting that you want. Okay, so that's one of the settings. Then, you have a three-point seat belt, okay? It's used just as a normal seat belt. Extend it, put it in like that. And then you have a third one here. This over the shoulders. Like that. Okay. So here. This is how you. This is the the position we have when we are for takeoff. Okay, not the position, but the uh, seat belt. Now, if you want to take these away, these ones are mandatory for takeoff and landing, and when it's turbulent. But you might not want to sit with the uh, the shoulder harnesses on all the time. So then there is a little button here at the back, and this is something that a lot of people don't know about. There's a button here in the center of the uh, the buckle. If you push that up, it means that it releases only these two. Okay and it doesn't release the rest. Now, you need to hold them, follow them back, because if you just release them, they might snap back and they might actually take one of the circuit breakers with them out, okay? So it's important that you release like I just did. Now, as you can see now, the seat is fairly to the side and that is in order to get in. The, the cockpit of 737 is really tight, okay? It's not like the Airbus. The Airbus is much more roomy, but the 737 is tight. So we now have it in four in full backward mode, okay? The, air, the It runs back and to the left on the captain's side and to the right on the first officer's side, okay? Now, in order for me to put this into takeoff position, okay? I have a lever down here to the right, which has H on it. And I hold on here to the, uh, the handle in order to pull myself forward, push the lever, and then move the, air, the uh, chair into position. Correct chair position. And this might sound a little bit strange to you guys. Is if you put this down, the uh, the seat, sorry, the armrest down, you can align that the top of the uh, the um, armrest with the start of the center panel. If you put that there, and then you sit upright, you should be able to see just the upper part of the glare shield, right? Because if you do, if you see the upper part of the glare shield and this is aligned, well then you are sitting in the correct seating position. I'm now sitting a little bit high, so I'm using a lever here to the left of me that moves the chair up and down. So I can move it fully down, which is obviously really low, and fully up, which is extremely high. So somewhere in between here, I can find a sweet spot where I can see everything here. I can see the screens, all of the instrumentations. The joke is not in the way. And this is approximately flush with the start of the center panel. Then there is a lever down here that I use in order to set the pedal position so that I can use full travel, so I can have full rudder deflection. So right now I am sitting in the correct takeoff position. Okay, I can see fully forward, I see all the instrument. My um, knees are slightly bent, so I have full um, authority of the rudders. All right, so this is how I find the correct seating position for takeoff, okay? And this is really important. Some people don't realize that, but you can have some horrendous problems with landings and rotations if you're not sitting correctly and you don't have the correct view down the runway. Right, so whatever seating, what other positions are there then? Well, here on the side, there is a, a knob that moves the thigh 
things up and down okay so this gives support to the thighs in order to take a little bit of pressure off the legs when you're sitting long time the same goes here for the lumbar you have a lumbar knob that moves the seat out gives a little bit better posture and back depending on how you want it okay there's also a little knob here okay this is called the inertia relock uh, if you're a cabin crew you will know that the inertial relock is used during pilot incapacitation. And basically what that does is that it puts a brake on these ones. So if I have the seat belt fully fastened, like this, obviously now I can move and I can reach all the levers and stuff. But if I would be incapacitated, then you can move the inertial relock down and I'm stuck. So a incapacitated pilot will have his hands in under these, uh, the seat belt, sitting like this, probably with an oxygen mask, and then depending on what happens during landing and so on, if, I'm, if I don't need to be moved out into the galley to be resuscitated, then I will not interfere with the controls in any way. Okay, so that's the inertia relock. Put that up, release these ones, put it in. And pretty much that is it, guys. So you can move the seats pretty much any direction. And all of the settings here are just like the settings in your car. Guys, uh, if you have any questions on this, as always, send it into the channel. I will be happy to answer them. And send in more questions. Maybe you have some something else that you want to know about here in the cockpit. I'll be happy to explain anything that you have. And as always, make sure that you get the Mentor Aviation app, get in there, join in the chat. I am there, Captain Joe is there sometimes, other uh, YouTubers are in there from time to time as well. We love to help you guys out, we're there for your benefit. So get the app, it's completely free, and I'll see you in there. Bye-bye.